Good morning legends, welcome to a new video. So welcome along to Here's Roger's Vlogs, it's been a few days and uh, thanks for the love on the last video, got a few comments there offering me some, you know, shoulders to lean on, I uh, really do appreciate it and I have looked into getting a little bit of help speaking to somebody about uh, the stuff that's going on in my head, but uh, in this video I'm going to be talking about Kicking the, the debt to get yourself to where you want to be in life. And uh, basic basic information really at the end of the day. If you don't know this, you are incredibly stupid. But uh, I, I'm intending to get myself back to America as soon as I can. But don't want to get into the debt to do that. And in all honesty, from here on in, I kind of want to get myself... To the point where I don't buy anything on credit anymore. The last time I did it was an essential thing. I needed a new laptop for editing and whatnot, so we got that there. Uh, you know, when you're you're buying an editing computer, you have to put some serious coin into it. And uh, at the moment, I am sitting on probably about. Five thousand pounds worth of debt to clear before I can start saving to get to America. Like I just want to go. When I'm going again, I want to be able to just go to the bank account and just buy the ticket straight out, no credit, off you go, and the spend money to do it. So, what's the quickest way of getting yourself out of debt? That's very, very simple, guys. Stop buying stupid stuff and literally just pay off the debt that you're in. Uh, for me, right now, if I put my head down, I reckon within six months, I could clear that debt. So, pretty much, all you need to do is, when you get your pay slip, whatever, you know, I'm not going to get into the investing money. You get yourself out of debt before you start investing. And, uh, you know, end of the week, you sit down, whatever you've made that week, whether it be in your full time job or any side hustles you might have in the go, work out how much that you need to pay that week as far as food and rent, um, fuel for your car, insurance, all that sort of stuff. Um, whatever's left over, literally pay the debt off and just survive to the next week. You know, cover yourself, that you're, you know, get your food, all that sort of stuff. Everything you need to survive until the next payday, and whatever's left over, put it off on your debt as quick as you can. Put your head down, and don't buy stupid stuff. And you know, this whole carry on of, you know, you hit the weekends, you're heading out. Like, I have seen people, literally, we used to go for, you know, pre-COVID and that. We used to go for a pint after work, we drink, and uh, we would get to the bar and we'd buy a pint. And then some of the guys I worked with, I would see them sitting down to a pint, and then they would drink that, and then they would just keep going. And literally, I seen people going through at least fifty to sixty pounds on a bar on a Friday evening after work. I have even seen. A guy I used to work with, uh, again, heading off to the bar for a quick pint after work. We went on, sat down, got a pint, and uh, I was never a huge drinker. He was just the one. And uh, this guy came down with us in the same car, and before we got to the bar, he went on to the bookies next door to put on a bet on a horse. And we had been sitting for about an hour, and he would come in and literally he'd have blown his entire paycheck in the boogies within an hour or so uh, absolutely insane so you know stop that stupid stuff and you know just be sensible about it pay your bills whatever you need to pay and 
stick the rest of that money off in your debts. You don't need to be doing that stuff all the time. Like every once in a while, you know, head out. Uh, coffee shops is a huge one at the minute. Starbucks. I have seen people get into Starbucks and uh, they're there for about two hours and they're there for the whole social side of things and maybe through 25 to 30 pound on some coffee and food and whatnot between themselves and their partners and whatever now i'm not saying that you can't go out and do that sort of stuff but not all the flipping time like i've seen people doing that on a daily basis it's absolutely insane is it any wonder we're all in debt to the flipping eyeballs so what i'm doing right now is head down ass up getting my work done paying off those whatever bills i need to pay within the week and putting everything else out on the the credit cards whatever i'm in i'm in debt with at the minute and uh you know get myself out of it as quick as possible and even the car here this car is getting very very dated uh could do with a an upgrade a change but it's completely unnecessary the car is still working you know it's got to the point now where i don't believe that i would be worth selling to anyone so i'm thinking driver under the ground clear the debts and uh you know get myself to the place where i can get away so that is my advice to you put your head down your ass up get your work done pay off your bills and pay off whatever you have on debt with whatever is left over right that's going to do it for this video you guys hope you enjoyed it uh yes i'll talk to you in the next one